Hey guys, so you might have heard of something called NordVPN. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what it is. So Nord is a program. You can get it on your computer, Windows or Mac. You can get it on your phone, Android or iOS. You can pretty much get it anywhere, your browser, gaming consoles, even on your router, if it's compatible, pretty much anything that connects up to the internet, you can put NordVPN on it. And it's going to do basically two things. There's actually more to NordVPN than just the VPN. I'll get into that. But the VPN part does two things. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And the first thing it's gonna do is make it seem as if you're somewhere else in the world when you're connected to the internet. So right here, you see you have a big map and all of these little dots or nodes are places in the world that I can connect to and I can make it seem to any website as if I'm in that place. So it doesn't make a difference where in the world you physically are, wherever you're connected to is going to seem to websites as the place that you're in. So right now I'm connected to Madrid in Spain using NordVPN, you can see that right there. And if I went to a streaming platform like Netflix, it's going to say top 10 movies in Spain today. Every streaming platform will offer different movies and TV shows depending on your location. So right now, because I'm connected up to Spain in NordVPN, I'm getting access to everything that would be available to me as if I was in Spain itself. If I would go back to the VPN and instead of connecting up to Spain, let's go over and I'll connect up to somewhere in the US. So I'll connect up to New York. Just take a second. You can see on the left side there connected to the United States. Now I'll head back to Netflix and just refresh the page. And instead of seeing top 10 movies in Spain, we're going to see the United States Library. So now I'm just gonna scroll down over here and there you go, top 10 movies in the US today. Now I'm seeing everything that would be offered in the United States. And you can do this for pretty much any streaming platform. You can do it for Amazon Prime Video, for Hulu, Disney Plus, it doesn't make a difference which. And there are other reasons why you might wanna change your location. If you were gaming and you wanted to get access to a game or early release that's only available in a different country, if you wanted to try to get better or at least more stable ping, you can do that with a VPN. If you were trying to access a crypto exchange that's only available in a different country, you can use a VPN. If you wanted to access something like Polymarket or different sports betting websites, you can do all of that with a VPN. Pretty much any situation where you would want to change your location and make it seem as if you were somewhere else when you are on the internet. Now, the second thing that a VPN does and that NordVPN does is protect your data. You see, when you connect up to the VPN, it creates something called a VPN tunnel and it protects all of your data from hackers or the government, from anybody who would try to access that information. Now, technically speaking, NordVPN themselves could see what you're doing online because they're the ones creating that tunnel. And that's why NordVPN has something called a no logs policy, which means that they do not keep any personal information local on their own servers. Even NordVPN themselves doesn't know what you're doing online. And that policy has been tested and audited by independent companies five times now. So it's pretty reliable. That's a nice amount compared to other VPNs, five no logs audits is quite a bit. Now those two things, giving you increased security and being able to change your location are things that other VPNs do as well. For example, ExpressVPN is a very nice option. They also have third-party audits of their no log policy. There is another VPN called Surfshark, which also will change your location. All three of these VPNs here, Express, Nord, and Surfshark, have 100 plus countries that you can connect to and audited no logs policies. And by the way, if you wanna find out more about any of these VPNs, there will be more information in the description below. But what's special about NordVPN is the amount of features that it offers. Their VPN itself is very advanced. You have specialty servers over here, things like double VPN, which connects you up to two different locations before getting you over to the internet. So that gives you an added layer of privacy and security. Obfuscated servers hide the fact that you're even using a VPN in case a website is trying to detect a VPN. Onion over VPN connects you up to the VPN and then to the Tor network. So it hides the fact that you're even connecting to the Tor network. So if you want to get onto Tor in a university or a school, something like that, where a lot of times it's blocked, you can get access with the VPN and nobody will be able to even know that you're connecting to it because the VPN is hiding it. And then they have P2P, which are optimized connections for torrenting because a VPN will also protect information information that is released over the torrent network. And besides for servers, if you go into the settings, there are just a ton of different things. They have a kill switch and split tunneling, two different features that you definitely want on your VPN. They have different protocols. This is something that has to do a lot with the speed of your VPN. So Nord Lynx is gonna be the fastest. If you're in a country that has very restrictive internet, something like Iran or China, then they have Nord Whisper. So there are a ton of different features. I don't want this video to go too long, but like I mentioned, there will be links for a full review of 
have NordVPN in the description below, but there is just a lot here. And this is all just for the VPN, but besides for the VPN, you're getting a mini antivirus with Rep Protection Pro. They have malware protection, browser protection, an add-in tracker blocker. There is file transfer protection, MeshNet, which allows you to create a secure connection for remote desktop and things like that. They also have dark web monitor, which checks to see if any of your personal information was leaked out over the internet. Even though it's called dark web monitor, it's not just the dark web, it's the internet in general. So besides for just a VPN, you're getting a lot on top of that. I would say that, you know, the two main tools that you want in order to get more protection and security on the internet are going to be an antivirus for things that you download on your computer and make sure that your computer doesn't get infected. And then when you're using the internet for websites that you visit, in order to get more privacy and anonymity, you would want a VPN and NordVPN does just that. So I hope you have a better understanding now of what NordVPN is. It's not the only VPN out there. Like I mentioned, there are other good options like ExpressVPN and Surfshark. These are two very solid VPNs. And with NordVPN, I would say that they round out the top three VPNs currently available on the market. If you want to try any of them out, then I will also have discount links for you in the description that will save you money on each of these. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you decide to try out NordVPN. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.